What's good, YouTube? Nate with Mass Collector, back with another PSA Modern Value submission. Um, for all of you that are just joining me on your first video with me, um, if you have a chance, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you're into sports cards and action figures and sneakers and you name it, um, kind of all over the board, but mainly sports cards and things of that nature is what I go through, um, what I pick up. Um, who I target for cards and players, uh, why I do that, and also um, PSA submissions, HGA hopefully soon, and um, just kind of go through everything. So appreciate your support with the subscription, and uh, like the video if you like it, or thumbs down if you don't like it, and uh, hit the bell for notifications for excuse me for new videos when they come out. <clears throat> So, um, some of you may know, I put in a bunch of submissions before the price increase went into effect for PSA. And, um, you know, you get basically 30 days to send them out. So this is the last one that I did. So this is number, t you know, um, total modern value. I think this is the 14th one that I got sent that I'm sending in. But as far as the, uh, the, the weekend of madness, um, I put in 10 submissions that, that weekend, so this is the last one before I send it out to PSA. I went through all these cards tonight with a magnifying glass and the light. Um, all the edges, took all the cards out, looked at the surface, you name it, and I kind of assigned grades on what I think they're going to get based on what I my limited experience is. So we'll just go through these quick. Uh, there's 50 cards on this one. so. Not going to take a lot of time with them, but if you guys have any questions or uh, comments or suggestions or anything, please leave a comment and uh, let's just let's talk about it and see what you guys think. So, so first card is the 1989 Classic Travel Update, uh, King Griffey Jr. Um, this thing looks absolutely perfect. I pulled this out of a uh, actual game package that I bought. I bought like 17 of these things for like nine bucks a piece and I just to get the Griffies out. But there's other good players in it as well. Um, but this one looks pretty good. It's all sharp corners, edges, everything centered really well. So I'm thinking it's a it's a 10. King Griffey Jr. 1990 upper deck. Um, 10. I have a bunch of these but this one seemed to be the best, best one. Kind of got a little you know edge fuzz or something like that in a couple spots but otherwise it looks really 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 good nineteen ninety one upper deck King Griffey Jr. Um, giving this one a nine it's a little off centered pushed down a little bit and also it's got a little rough edge here on the on the bottom but otherwise it looks pretty good Keston Hira it's so a 2017 Bowman Draft, uh, Bowman Chrome, number 10. I'm giving it a 10. I'm just looking to see if I screwed up and just put this in as a Bowman like draft paper versus, and I think I did. I might have to look that up and see if I did that wrong or not, but. Shit. Yeah, so BDC equals Chrome. I'll have to look that up. Otherwise, it looks good. Um, I'm sure I can, you know, put... Whenever you send something in as, to PSA, they will they do their research as well. They'll look it up. Um, and then you can also, like, uh, review the order. So I could go in there and change it, I believe. So we'll try to do that. Lesson learned. Um, Charles Barkley, Fleer, 1988. Um, giving this one a eight or an 8.5. It's got some white on the, the right edge. And it's got a blueprint bubble issue down here. Um, error. And um, that's about it. But I just, and there's a couple little stains on the back here. So I think it's like an eight, eight and a half or something like that. Uh, Jordan 1990 Skybox. Um, this one here, I am saying eight and a half. Uh, the bottom right corners have little little white spots on them. So 
off-centered a little bit too, but I think it's good enough for 60-40, but the white spots concern me. Uh, Fleer 1991. Um, the 9, it's got a small white spot on the bottom right front corner. I mean, it's so super, super small. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but see that little white spot? Hard to see it, but it's there. We'll see what happens. Everything else looks perfect on it. Um, Fleer 91 Jordan All Star. Um, I got a 9, maybe a 10. It's got a white spot edge on the bottom of the back. Those little white spots. <clears throat> Jordan upper deck. Uh, East All Star. This is number 69. Uh, 10. I don't see anything really wrong with this thing at all. Another 91. Jordan. This is number 44. Um, I have a, a 10 on this one too. It looks a little off-center, like it's pushed down a little bit, but when I measured it, it's definitely within the 60-40 ratio. I love this picture on the back of this card. Uh, Jordan, Magic versus Jordan, 91 upper deck. Uh, nine, maybe a 10. It's got a rough uh, edge down on the corner there. But other than that, it looks, uh, looks good. Uh, this is the all-star checklist 91 upper deck uh, nine uh, it's just off-centered too much i think otherwise it looks really good uh 1991 skybox uh, uh 10 for this one for sure there's nothing wrong with it <clears throat> This is an award winning hologram, 91 upper deck. Um, the face is just all, got all kinds of issues with it. So I don't know what this is gonna get. I'm thinking like a seven and a half maybe, or an eight. Uh, Skybox Premium 96. Uh, this thing looks just about perfect. There's a small pinhole size dent on the face on the left. It's pretty faint, but it's there. Everything else is perfect on this thing. I mean, there is no white on the edges at all on the front or the back. So there's just that one little pinhole, you know, dent, but that's it. So we'll see what happens with that one. It'll, maybe it'll come back a nine, but man, it looks like it deserves a 10. This one here is a Fleer Ultra, um, 1998. I think it's a nine. Uh, the bottom edge on the back has a little bit of uh, white on on it. Let's see if you guys can see this. See that white stuff? So I'm thinking that's gonna make it a, a nine. Uh, it does not have that on the rest of it. So it looks really, really nice. Here's a Jordan Finest uh, 96. I'm thinking eight and a half to nine just because it's off centered on the front. Um, it, it probably measures okay, but it just looks kind of like it's off too much. And there's also some little like, um, like print, I don't know if it's print defects or what, but it looks like little fish eyes and things like that. Some of them on the, on the edges, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Uh, this one here is a 97 Flare Showcase uh, Roll 3. Uh, I'm thinking it's a 9. Um, and the only reason I say that is because there's a little something that was caught underneath the finish of the card. So I think like there's a little piece of debris or something that actually fell on this when it was getting coated 
in the factory, but everything else looks really nice. You know, it doesn't have any white edges or anything really. So maybe we'll get surprised and get a get a ten. But I think that that spot right there. You see that thing there? Whatever that is. I think that's going to be our downfall. Um, hoops, 1991. Uh, this one's getting a 10, I think. I don't see really anything wrong with it at all. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, 2014 Panini Select. Um, I think an eight and a half to nine. It's got some back issues on the surface, kind of like uh, just worn areas. Um, it's got a scratch on the bottom corner on the on the front side but otherwise it looks really nice uh, this is a Donruss 2014 Swirlorama uh, looks really good I think it's got a nine though because it's got like one white corner on the back here um, down there Otherwise, it looks pretty good. It's really cool, too. And we got a 2014 Panini Prestige um, Premium, which is the hologram one. Um, there's a line above his head. I'm sorry. White corners on the face and back of this thing. Um, I think it's like an eight and a half probably. Everything else checks out pretty good. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, this is a Panini Prism 2014. Um, I'm thinking a nine. It's got a little line that goes above his head. Print line, manufacturing line or something. Otherwise everything else looks pretty good. 2015 Prism. Um, thinking a nine or a ten. Um, it's got a very small white spot on the corner on the back. Super small. So we'll see how this one comes back. But otherwise, it looks pretty good. A little pushed that way a little bit, but I think it's close enough. LeBron 2015 hoops chalk toss uh, 10 looks really good I got lucky with these buying these off of Amazon last year um, here's a 2006 tops um, LeBron I think this thing gets a 10 um, if it doesn't the only reason it won't is because there's a little tiny um like silver spot on the three where the three comes up on the bottom if you can see that or not but other than that it looks pretty good uh here we got a lebron 2004 skybox usa uh, i think it's a nine it's got a little tiny dent uh on the back and it's a little bit of white on the edge here but otherwise it looks pretty good 1990 Hoops Superstars, Akeem Olajuwon, uh, 9, maybe a 10. It's, um, the only thing I'm concerned about is the, the centering, maybe pushed down a little bit, but it does measure 60-40, so it should be okay. Dave Robinson, um, a 10, it's got a super small white corner. But other than that, it looks it looks fine. If it does get a nine, that's what it's for. Um, here's an Urban Johnson, same thing, ninety superstar hoops, um, nine, maybe a ten, and measure sixty forty up and down. But um, you know, it definitely looks off centered. We'll see how how it comes back. Rodman Power Tool ninety six. I think this one gets a 10. It's um, It looks really good under the microscope. All the way around, there's, 
you know, like no white spots. If there is, there's only a couple. So I think it's it's good. <clears throat> uh, here's another metal uh, universe, 97 Rodman. Uh, I'm thinking a nine. It's got two little white spots on the front edge. So it might make a 10, but um, I don't know. It looks good. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Here's a uh, 95 metal, I'm picking a nine. It's got white edges on the back. Some spots, like, you know, as you go around it, you can kind of see some things pick, pick out, but otherwise it looks pretty good. Here's a 97 Topps Chrome. Uh, I'm thinking this is an eight, eight and a half. It has, it's off centered and it's got some worn finish on the back. Like it's been pulled, pulled out and looked at quite a few times out of sleeves or pages or whatever but it just looks like it's worn to finish down a little bit this one here i just like the look of but um the 94 tops um rebound hound and i think it might get a 10 you know the only thing that's off is that you can tell it's off centered a little bit but other than that it looked really good underneath the, the lighted scope i got so we'll see what happens there here is a 1989 Hoops, uh, I'm thinking a 9, it's got a couple surface spots on the face, but other than that it looks really good. Here's a 90 Hoops Superstars, um, I think I'm going to get a 10, it's definitely off center towards the bottom, but it measures 60-40. It kind of looks like it's angled weird too, so. It might get a nine. We'll see what happens. Here's a uh, Tops 2008 gold. It's got the gold border and everything. Font. At least that's what I think it's for. Eight and a half. It's got a couple scratches on the face. Tops chrome. Um, eight, eight and a half. It's off centered quite a bit. So, these are kind of PC cards, that's why I'm sending them in. So, Stadium Club Beam Team, um, this is a 9, maybe a 10. The only thing that's that I see for a major issue on this is like the Stadium Club logo, where some of the silver, you know, foil is still on there. You can kind of see it, the perforation where it, it shouldn't where it should be pulled off, but it just won't come off. So that's the only thing I see wrong with it. And I actually had another one in place when I took it out to look at it. It was a members only one. The members only this year has a, uh, like an embossed logo right here. So good thing I was looking at them. But I saw that. So I didn't send those off by mistake. Uh, Scotty Pippen, gold ultra full court trap, 1996. Uh, this thing is, Seen better days, um, eight, eight and a half. It's just got white edges. That's pretty much the only thing wrong with it. Uh, Fleer 1990 Scotty Pippen. I'm thinking a 10. Uh, it's got a little bit of fuzz, you know, like fiber kind of on the corner. But other than that, it looks uh, it looks really good. And I don't think I can pull that off either. So maybe. Seems like it's such a small amount that we'll test our luck. Maybe you can I'll show you what I'm talking about. See that little fuzz right there? This is the no line one too. Uh, big secret, the no line cards for 90 Fleer come out of jumbo packs or whatever. There's like 50 cards in a pack. Dikembe Mutombo, 91 Upper Deck Rookie Card. Uh, I'm thinking this one gets a 10. The uh, the hologram is not perfect. You kind of see there's, you know, there's some little chips out of it here and there. But otherwise, the whole rest of the card looks really good. Gary Payton, 91 Fleer Rookie Sensations. Uh, 9. It's got some white edges, 
and corners. Little, I mean, little spots, but otherwise it looks really good. And we got a few more here. Let's see, Dream Hunt Optic Hollow. And this one here, I'm thinking it's getting a 10. It looks really, really good. No scratches, no issues. Centered really well. Uh, here's another Cream Hunt. They're red and yellow. I'm thinking it's a 9. It's got some lines going down the back, like manufacturing lines. So, not sure how much those degrade the card, but it's a little bit off center, but nothing that you can notice. Uh, here's another one, but a pink. Uh, eight and a half to nine. It's got a couple spots on the front corners. Um, like some surface stuff. And it's got some white um, edges on the back. So we'll see how that turns out. It's got one scratch and one dot type of thing on the face. So that's what this had on it. Sorry. One scratch and one dot type of thing. And then uh, front corners. Cool. Issues there. So eight and a half to nine. Uh, here's the prism hollow or silver. <clears throat> prism prism. Uh, nine. It's got a small issue on the on the face. Um, white edges on the back. A little bit. Nothing terrible, but it's there. Um, it's centered pretty well, though, so it maybe pushed that way a little bit. But it looks really nice. Teddy, Teddy Bridgewater Purple Refractor, uh, number nine. It's got a dent on the top back. Otherwise, it looks really nice. Uh, pushed that way a little bit, but not too bad. Hopefully a nine out of that. And the last one here is Teddy's uh, 2014 Panini Prism, Prism, Silver, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one looks really good, but I think it's going to get a nine. It's got some of those uh, manufacturing scratches on the back that go up and down. Other than that, it looks pretty good. So um, thanks you guys for checking out the video. I uh, really appreciate it. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up for the like button or dislike it if you didn't like it. Um, and uh, hit that bell for notifications for new videos. And then also, again, you know, once I get all these things back next year, which is probably when it's going to come back, I'm going to go through all the grades and we'll see how I did with my perception of what grade they, they have or should have and what PSA decides they are. So it'll be fun. Uh, appreciate it, guys, and we'll see you next video. Thanks.